Letters, Ray to Cheryl, April 5th, 1944, from Mississippi, Ray writes, My darling, I was so very sorry to hear about your grandmother. She was a grand lady. It must be a terrible loss to all of you. Yet somehow I feel that she isn't really gone. Her life, her love and happiness was all for the one she loved. Even now I'm sure that her happiness will depend on her children's happiness. If all is well with her family, then all will be well with her. She has set a mark for all of you to work for. Be proud to follow in her footsteps. We'll go to King's home. She'll know all about it, and there'll be she'll be there enjoying it with us. I wish I too could have seen her while I was home. I admired her greatly. She'll be around, honey, trying to do all she can to make her children happy. It's going to be hard, but try to make her job easier. Everything is okay down here. Don't do any worrying over me. I'm pretty near calm down. Please extend my deepest sympathy to your mother. I wish there was something I could do to help. Good night now, darling. I'll say my prayers tonight. Love, Ray.